So, Corey, if you can set us up for the NFL draft in regards to uh, projecting forward some of these Iowa players that, uh, again, I, I would guess with the four that went in the draft here in the 2021 version that that would be pretty typical of Iowa's representation from year to year, something in that range of four to five players. Uh, defensive end Chauncey Golston, aforementioned, goes to the Dallas Cowboys in the third round, 84th pick. Uh, after compiling some pretty heavy numbers uh, at Iowa with 27 tackles for loss and 12 sacks, just your thought about um, his possible contribution at the next level. Yeah, I mean, that's a steal for Carolina. I mean, I I, I was shocked at that pick. I, I was honestly shocked that Chauncey Golston got selected in the third round by Dallas as well. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, four four guys get uh, get picked. Um, and none in the seventh round. So I guess that's a, a, a positive. Um, you've got, you know, uh, nobody in the first or second rounds, uh, which is kind of an oddity, um, especially given, you know, Tristan Wirfs, Noah Fant, TJ Hawkinson. I mean, you can go on and on and on in recent years. Um, so, yeah, a little surprised by Alaric Jackson not getting drafted as well. That just, I mean, when's last time? I mean, would you, uh, you're an outsider from, from an Iowa perspective. Could you imagine ever hearing that a four-year starter at left tackle doesn't get drafted? I mean, that is just insane to me. So uh, the Rams, the, the Rams did well in, in going to grab him. I think they got very lucky that he was still on the board. Um, Amir Smith Marset, you talked about him. Maybe the next Cordell Patterson for Minnesota. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he can do if they play him at kick return. I, I don't know. Um, I'm not really a Vikings follower, uh, even though they're what three hours north of us. Um, so I don't really know what what they currently offer as far as as special teams, uh, punt and kick return. But he's certainly a guy who can contribute there. Uh, Nick Neiman really impressed at uh, at pro day. I mean, he was just spectacular um, at the combine. He was tremendous. So I, I just wonder, you know, the guys that didn't get drafted. Sean Byer. Here, here's a, a guy who I th- I thought could have benefited from another year at Iowa decides to go pro, you know, can he end up being a guy who the Broncos picked him up? Can he be a guy who potentially works his way onto a roster and maybe eventually works his way as a starting tight end in the NFL? Maybe um, he is an, I mean, I think all you have to say is, Hey, I'm an Iowa tight end and you're probably going to get a roster spot. So you've got that. And then potentially a guy like Jackson makes a, makes a roster. Um, Barrington Wade, I think he got a deal with the, maybe the Ravens uh, that the look, uh, I know the Tennessee Titans, Picked up Cole Banwart, another offensive lineman who really dealt with injury problems. But yeah, I think all four of the guys who got drafted, Golston, Mar- Smith-Marset, Nixon, and Neiman, all have a chance to make rosters um, and contribute. And as far as projecting forward, um, I-, I think you know the big thing with Iowa moving forward, first of all, Tyler Linderbaum, by all accounts, is a first-round draft pick next year. Um, I, I was very, very surprised. He, he didn't even test the waters this past year, which was shocking to me. Didn't even really, according to him, didn't ask for any, uh, scouting info or, or, uh, uh, as far as, uh, uh, what am I trying to, what am I trying to say? He, he didn't ask for any information from anybody, uh, in, in, in the NFL or even from his head coach. He said he was set on coming back. So that surprised me. He's a first round draft pick in my mind. He was the best center in college football last year. I would think he would be as well this year. The one thing, of course, you risk is injury. So I think he's a first-round draft pick. You know, again, guys like uh, Cody Ince, who uh, it seems like he just got here, but he was really, really good last year. And if he can excel at tackle this year or even on the interior, I could see him leaving early. Uh, And then the defense is just always going to have guys. Zach Van Valkenburg will be a guy who, you know, physically I don't know that he's got what it takes to be a top, you know, two-round draft pick. But he'll, he'll get drafted somewhere. Um, and, uh, you know, guys in the back end, Riley Moss, I, I didn't mention him earlier as far as corner this spring. He, he was the, probably the biggest, um, impress. I mean, cause you didn't get, we didn't see Tracy the second, uh, the second game or the second open practice. Riley Moss was fantastic at corner. Um, Matt Hankins is another guy who was out all spring practice. So, uh, they've got guys, I mean, this is, this is just what Iowa does. They produce NFL guys, but uh, I think Iowa fans would rather big 10 titles. Um, so, uh, yeah, verdict is still out. A lot of time left for these guys to develop. Um, but, uh, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. I think the roster they have in place and the depth they have in place, there's a couple positions running back. Of course, is a position where you got to develop depth. 
tight end two is huge. Is it going to be Luke Lachey, Josiah Miaman, uh, Elijah Yelverton? Got to get somebody in there at tight end two. I don't worry about defense, especially at corner right now with the strength they have in returners with with Moss and Hankins. Quarterback play and then depth at those at those skill positions. And I would throw a wide receiver in there as well, although I'm more confident there. Um, if you can get that, this team has a chance to be like a 2009, 2015, where nobody's really talking about them and then they explode as opposed to the teams that, uh, you know, 2010, 2016, where everybody's, you know, uh, placing them in the top 10, top 15, and then they flub. So, yeah, I'm liking where things are going right now, but it's still really early. And uh, some of these younger guys can can get in the weight room this summer will certainly help their cause to get on the field this fall.